sixth grade, module four, lesson 18, problem set. Read each story problem, identify the unknown quantity, and write the addition or subtraction expression that is described. Finally, evaluate your expression using the information given in column four. So there's two ways to do all of these. Um, I'm just gonna represent one way, but know that there's an additional answer for each one. So, the first example they did for us, so I'm just going to skip to the next one. So it says Ella wrote eight more stories than Anna in the fifth grade. Now notice over here, they've given us Anna. So I'm just going to use Anna as um, my variable. So I'm going to let A, A for Anna. You could pick, you could pick anything. You don't have to pick A. I just picked A because it makes sense for Anna. Let A represent the, let's see, the number of stories Anna wrote. So the number of stories that Anna wrote plus eight would be equal to Stella. So if Anna plus eight is equal to Stella, then Anna wrote 10, we can replace that with 10 plus eight is equal to 18. So Ella wrote 18 stories. In fifth grade. Lisa has been dancing for three more years than Danica. So we can, they gave us Danica so I'm going to find something to represent Danica, and I'm going to let D represent the number of years Danica has been dancing. So Lisa has been dancing for three more years than Danica. Then whatever Danica has been dancing plus three would get us Lisa. So we have D plus three, or we can replace Danica. She's been dancing for six years. So six plus three is equal to nine. So Lisa has been dancing for nine years. The New York Rangers scored two fewer goals than the Buffalo Sabres last night. So they've given us the Rangers score. So I'm going to go ahead and replace something. Let R represent the Rangers. Represent the Rangers goals. So then we'd have the Rangers goals, and they scored two fewer. So we'd have to add two to their score to get the Buffalo Sabres. So R plus two would be equal to the Sabres, and the Rangers scored three, so three plus two is equal to five. So we can say Sabres scored five goals. George has gone camping three times fewer than Dave. And George has gone camping eight times. So let's let G represent George. Represent the number of times George has gone camping. So George has gone three fewer times than Dave. So we can take George and add three and we'll get Dave. So G plus three is equal to Dave. George has camped eight times plus three would be equal to 11. So Dave has camped 11 times. T 
two, if George went camping 15 times, how could you figure out how many times Dave went camping? So we could just do George went 15 times plus three. So we could just replace 15 with G and make 15 plus three and we would get 18. So 18, 18 times for Dave. So all you need to do is replace 15 with the variable G instead of uh, what it was before, which was 8.